Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about Fallout 76, and more specifically, I want to talk about why I have not watched any gameplay footage of or from Fallout 76. Many of you know that there was this huge gameplay event that recently happened at the Greenbrier Hotel in West Virginia, where essentially a bunch of YouTubers and a bunch of press outlets got to capture a bunch of gameplay footage from Fallout 76. Uh, from what I've heard, there is over 400 hours of gameplay on Fallout 76 currently out there right now. So uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of gameplay footage that was captured at this event and kind of shared with the world. Now in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys why I have not watched any of that gameplay footage. Now keep in mind, it's not because I think Fallout 76 is going to be a bad game. Uh, it's not because I'm worried about Fallout 76. It's not because, you know, I, I don't like gameplay or like watching other people play the game. It's not that I don't like anything having to do with Fallout 76. It's one reason and one reason only. The reason why I haven't watched any gameplay on Fallout 76 is because I am scared it will spoil the game for me. And what I mean by this is that there is over 400 hours of gameplay footage out there right now. Now keep in mind, most of the game still remains unexplored, as uh, I heard these content creators and these press outlets were only allowed to play the first three hours of the game. So essentially from the start of the vault, and three hours up and they were able to capture whatever type of footage they want and they were free to go wherever they want and in a lot of this gameplay footage if you watch it a lot of the game was explored and there were a lot of things that were ruined for a lot of people uh, some people say it's spoiled the main story for them a little bit some people say it's spoiled uh, how the nukes will work some people said it spoiled the settlement building and what's gonna be in the settlement building some people said it spoiled the side quest inside Fallout 76. Some people said it spoiled the locations that you would be able to explore in Fallout 76. Some people said it, it, you know, it really, really spoiled the kind of beginning of Fallout 76 because everyone started off in the vault, everyone left the vault and did their own thing, went out and exploring. And a lot of people say that the area around the vault was, you know, kind of ruined for them location wise, you know because people had explored those on, uh, you know, in gameplay footage and stuff like that. And that's one of the reasons I didn't watch gameplay footage from Fallout 76. I remember a couple of days ago, a long time ago actually at this point, it was the day before all the gameplay footage came out, so pretty much earlier this week, right? I seen a comment on Pete Hines' Twitter, which he did respond to, and it kind of got me thinking, if I watch this gameplay footage that comes out tomorrow, the Fallout 76 game is going to be spoiled for me. Sure, these content creators might not be able to beat the whole game, and the end game might not be spoiled for me, but the beginning of the game will be spoiled for me, and certain locations that other, you know, YouTubers explored, or these uh, people, uh, press outlets explored, they'll be ruined for me as well. I won't be able to, you know, experience finding this location for the first time on my own. I will have already seen someone else do it. You know, it also spoils, you know, a little bit of the main story for you and side quests that you could pick up. And those are things I did not want spoiled for me. I wanted my first time playing Fallout 76 to be through my own eyes, to, you know, for me to experience it by myself. I, I, I want to go into Fallout 76 having seen essentially no gameplay footage of Fallout 76. Now keep in mind, the only reason I'm doing this is because Fallout 76 to me looks like a good game. It looks very interesting and fun, and that's the only reason I'm doing it. If I thought and I was, you know, kind of skeptical about Fallout 76, I of course would watch gameplay. But since I'm excited for Fallout 76, since I really want to play it, I didn't want to watch any Fallout 76 gameplay footage because I'm scared that it would have spoiled the game for me. Like I'm like I said, I'm scared it would have spoiled the beginning of Fallout 76 for me like when you're inside the vault i'm scared that it would have spoiled certain locations that other people explored i'm scared that it would spoil you know side quests for me i'm scared that it would spoil the you know looking at the character builds for the first time or looking at your you know building your character I, i'm scared that it would spoil a lot of things for me and that's why i didn't watch the fallout 76 gameplay footage and i'm pretty sure there's maybe one or two other people out there who didn't watch any gameplay footage either for the exact same purpose now like i said I, I usually scour twitter for news information about fallout 76 
and I was on Twitter and I was looking at Pete Hines' Twitter spe specifically and somebody said this the day before the gameplay uh, like came out and this is this tweet is literally one of the only reasons I didn't watch the gameplay because I didn't even put thought into what happens if I watch the gameplay. You know, there wasn't even that thought process. I didn't even think that, oh, if I watch this gameplay, some of the game's gonna be spoiled for me. I didn't even have that thought process. I just wanted to see the gameplay footage because I was so excited for Fallout 76. But this comment made me stop, take a step back, and, you know, kind of assess the situation and realize that, wait, if I watch this gameplay footage, there's no going back. Certain things can be spoiled for me. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this tweet that made me, you know, take a step back and not watch this gameplay footage. So here we go. Somebody says at DC Deacon, hey Pete, just wondering if there was any restrictions placed on people attending the Fallout 76 event in terms of where they could travel and how much footage they could capture in Fallout 76. To which Pete Hines put, they played for three hours, the whole game was available, and we told them they could do whatever they wanted in the time they had. Now, it doesn't end there. It also goes on to say, so would it have been possible in that time to finish the game or get to a point with massive main quest line spoilers? To which Pete Hines says, finish the game in three hours? Question mark. Which obviously is a no. Nobody finished the game within three hours. At least I don't think anybody did. And from what I've heard, I haven't I haven't heard anybody, you know, actually beating Fallout 76 yet from that gameplay event. So obviously, people only got to play the first three hours and record the first three hours. Uh, so uh, yeah. That is the reason why I didn't watch any Fallout 76 gameplay footage, is because of this comment right here. It made me take a step back and realize that if I watch this gameplay footage, there's no going back. Certain things would be spoiled for me. Sure, maybe really late in the game wouldn't be spoiled for me. Maybe every location to that you could explore inside Fallout 76 wouldn't be, you know, uh, spoiled for me. Maybe the weapons wouldn't be spoiled for me, the armors wouldn't be spoiled for me, the enemies wouldn't be spoiled for me. But a lot of stuff would, like some enemies, some of the weapons in the game, some of the armor in the game, you know, the character building, the character creation would have been spoiled for me. What happens inside Vault 76 before you actually leave would have been spoiled for me. You know, starting the main quest line storyline would have been spoiled for me. Doing certain side quests would have been spoiled for me. And also... The most important thing to me that would have been spoiled is exploring the locations on my own for the first time. The location exploring would have been spoiled for me and that was really unfortunate and that's why I didn't watch any of the Fallout 76 gameplay footage. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to tell you guys why I haven't watched any of the Fallout 76 gameplay footage. Let me know if you guys are the same way. Let me know if anybody out there did not watch the gameplay footage because they're scared that some of the game would be spoiled for them. Because I sure am and I'm glad I didn't watch the gameplay footage because now I get to go into Fallout 76 with nothing spoiled for me whatsoever. So when I play Fallout 76 through my own monitor, with my own keyboard and mouse, with my own headset, I'll be experiencing it truly for the first time, 100% fresh and on my own, without any prior knowledge of Fallout 76 going into the game. So uh, yeah, that's why I didn't watch any gameplay footage. Like I said, let me know if there's anyone else that kind of thought the same way I did. Anyways, uh, yeah, leave that in the comment section down below. Uh, if you watch gameplay footage, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section down below. If you didn't watch gameplay footage, like I said, uh, and you were scared it was going to spoil it for you, like I was, leave that in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.